It was last man standing at family fair. Thank goodness I strapped on my battle sword. Had to cut my way out of there at the end. And an 18-year-old girl was like, that's the last cream of mushroom, good sir. <laughs> Corey coming at you from V Bros. Uh, coming at you on November 20th. Today's a really important day for me. Uh, I'm actually in real estate for my day job, which, you know, if these get big, let's let's get me out of that. No, I'd still do it. I love it. I love real estate. Love everything about it. Uh, love how people get into their houses. So I'm actually doing today and why it's such a big day. You know, at uh, about five o'clock, we've got to. Um, I'm gonna go do a final walkthrough on a house that's actually closing. So that's pretty exciting stuff. You know, congratulations. And then right after that, I get to drive an entire hour towards uh, Parma, where I get to do, where I get to show one of my uh, high school friends that we played football together, and he just got married. So uh, he's looking at a new house. We're gonna check that out. So that'll be some fun, and then uh, I'm actually meeting up with the old Batesinator. I'm actually on my way to the gym currently right now. I'm gonna hit the bike, I'm gonna get a little cardio in, I gotta hit shoulders. I've been up all night vomiting. Hopefully I'm feeling a little bit better, uh, and, you know, if you're listening to this. Hopefully you're not sick too, because, you know, here in Michigan it seems like our entire state gets sick all at once. Like, one person gets sick and everybody just across the board. It also could have been that I drank a fifth last night with my buddy. So that could have done me over the top too. Especially it was uh, Bacardi Black. Woo! Haha! <laughs> Sharp stuff. It's good. It's good. It's good. I'm at the house. I'm about to close on for my client. So here's the living room. It's pretty dope. It's pretty nice. And back here we got the kitchen. Super nice. So basically he's gonna buy his house. Congratulations. Put some money in my pocket, thank God. No more ramen noodles. No, I'm just kidding, but am I? Just had a good night with the old Maticus Bates. Uh, you know, we actually tried and ate some of the blazing hot wings from uh, Buffalo Wild Wings, and let me tell you right now, they were fucking hot, okay? And, uh, you know, to put it in perspective, a few years ago, one of my buddies and I, he's actually my roommate now, we uh, we signed waivers and ate these uh, wings that were from Buffalo, uh, it was actually called Buffalo Barbecue Wings, so they're kind of like an offshoot Jackson restaurant. We ate those, and they were literally so hot that they burnt my taste buds for the next about five years where I could just about eat anything. Hot wise, like you know, I could just eat anything. I ate these, and uh, <laughs> yeah, that didn't have anything to do with me eating the second set of those blazing hot wings. Let me tell you, those those burned so deep, my my lips hurt, my whole mouth hurt, and like not only did my mouth hurt, but my whole face hurt, like my eyes, my nose. I mean, just like. Just about everything about me hurt. Like, that's f***ed up. Like, that shit's stronger than I'll get out. So, had a good night. I'm headed home now. It's 1 a.m. One eternity later. Well, Thanksgiving special. So, I just got out of the uh, the shopping center, or the what we like to call an Eaton Rapids, the old family fair. Uh, now, what I was doing there was a little bit of last-minute uh, shopping. See, I got right next to me is what I like to call the Cory casserole and I'll be updating you a little bit later tomorrow when I cook this bad boy and show you how it's done and the way that literally the old gods and the new come together to form the most delicious green bean casserole you'll ever taste in your life and I have literally family members of almost every single ex-girlfriend I've ever brought this to they still hit me up and they're like bro just just stop by bring me some I'm like nah this shit's special, okay? So, I just had to stare off with that lady. I was like, you ain't going, I'm going. This is my fucking house. <laughs> it was last man standing at family fair. Thank goodness I strapped on my fucking battle sword. Had to cut my way out of there at the end. And an 18 year old girl was like, that's the last cream of mushroom, good sir. Little tears in her eyes and everything. One cream of mushroom. Can of soup left. 
stare at it. I'm like, that's my cream of mushroom. Like, I need it to complete this masterpiece. And this little girl, she's like, I haven't eaten in three days. I pulled out my sword and stabbed her in her stomach. I was like, you will never eat again. <laughs>